start you off with one that's, uh, I, I get okay. requested a lot. It, it gets requested both ways. It gets, people want to hear it, and other people don't want to okay. hear it. Okay. Okay, it's <clears throat> Horror at the Wax Bean Museum. Axes, scimitars, dull butter knives, semi-demented artist types display their wares to the languid public. From out of the sea of shapes rumbles a portrait of terror made from bales and bushels of hairy, soggy wax beans. Some huge spider from Patagonia struts across the tiled floor, getting squished inadvertently under the cleaning woman's heel. <laughs> That's kind of my humorous thing. Wow. Yeah. So it ends on that note. Yes. That yes, reminds me of an artist of ours, oh. actually. Um, you met him. I did. Yeah, uh, D.L. Polanski. Okay. He, um, okay. uh, did you look at the artwork when you were? I, I looked at the artwork. I didn't know he he did. Uh, um, yes, art. He had this one art piece that showed a guy, a naked man. Oh goodness! This is this is a painting. So if you're young and you can't handle this, change the station. Change mothers, the mothers out works. there, before I hear any complaints calling in. I'm about to mention something that could be God considered. God forbid that you should get nude and take a shower sometime. And, and your child catches you. Oh. But you can change the station right now. I'm giving you the warning. I can count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All right. Okay, here it goes. Um, he, D.L. Polanski has a painting of a man re naked with his head in a dog bowl. A dog bowl. With dog food. Um, eating it. Okay, okay. And then another man sticking a knife in somebody's head. It's just really whack. Okay, okay. Um, and it just looks like this living room scene. When you first look at it, it looks like this nice living room scene okay. going on. Like, and has, he has the lamps and the tables, and it looks very quaint and cute and all that. And then you see that, and it's like, holy crap. You know, well, that, yeah. I mean, the, then the art comes rushing out of the picture yeah, at he you. he sold it. Um, when we first had it in the gallery, a lot of people looked at it and said, um, Wow, this is really whacked, or this is really scary, or um, okay. That's that, he sold it because that's because people in the eastern part of the state can afford it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just you know, there were a lot of comments. And I remember one day, DL is a little eccentric. One day, um, he said, "Hi, um, I have some paintings here at the gallery." He kind of talks like that. Yes, you know, yes, he's very that, choppy about very, it. Very yeah. uh, monotone voice. He's a nice guy. But nice guy. Yeah, yeah. But I remember he goes, I have some paintings here. Want to see one? And this person said, yeah, sure, okay. And he brought them over to that painting. And the guy, it was a guy, and he, he kind of looked over at him. He goes, um, that's okay. I don't want to see any more. <laughs> I've seen oh, that. he's seen enough. All right. Well, he maybe was sitting in on the conversation I heard. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you do another few poems and... Okay, okay. I'll, I'll try to remember uh, artificial jello-based intelligence. Of course you remember the movie Artificial Intelligence. Yep. Uh, I, I kind of ran the concept together. It, it rumbles, it oozes, it grows like warts on the back of a wild hog's neck. And yet it can carry on a conversation with kids or adults on any subject that you'd mention. The government scientists call it AJI, which stands for Artificial Jello-Based Intelligence. So it might come from Mars. Then again, it might come from some creepy dimension of the mind, as yet undiscovered by lesser minds, because as sure as mud is messy, there's something fishy about a room full of government scientists. Ooh, All right. that's interesting. Okay. Um, let me see. Do you have any poems that are holiday poems? Holiday poems. I'm trying to think. So you want something a little bit more upbeat. Hmm. It doesn't have to be, but... Oh, a holiday poem. I'm trying to think. Um, or it could be about food. Food. Well, how, how about... Uh, oh, clams. Clams are food. Clams are good. How about um, happy as a clam shell? You'll like this one because it's very, very, uh, very short. I live in the mud. I never get to run, I never get to jump, I never get to play, but these idiots think I'm happy. My goal in life is to migrate two centimeters before some greasy slob in a duck suit batters me and eats me fried. You wanted food, right? <laughs> That's great. All right, all right.